Well, the end of Monica Rial, Sean Chimmel, and Christopher Sabat's careers are pretty much in sight right now, at least as it concerns Dragon Ball, because news has gotten out as per Nick Ricada that Toei Animation is fully aware of what's going on with the voice actor scandal over here in the States, and they are pissed. They are not happy. They do not appreciate Dragon Ball being embarrassed in the fashion that it is over here in the States. And that can only mean one thing, before they will let them ruin Dragon Ball at the very bare minimum. I think this might be the first time that we see uh, Dragon Ball not being dubbed by Funimation in the past 20 years. Because if I remember correctly, there was a studio before Funimation that was Ocean Dub. And then Big, I think it was one Green Water Dub or Big Green Dub. Uh, but it's been a while. Funimation has had the rights to dubbing Dragon Ball for the past, well, since I've been alive, you know, long since before I've been alive. So it's kind of just, it, it's sad and it's funny at the same time to see that all the little backstabbing stuff they tried to do against Vic has completely backfired. It's completely come back to haunt them right now because Toei has turned on them. Their rapport with the fans is gone. Any respect that they had garnered is gone with the fans. Uh, sales are down. Subscriptions are down. They are hurting. All because they tried to go after one person in a crooked fashion. All because they wanted to push their little agenda on the fans and brainwash people into thinking with that a SJW rhetoric and. Uh, mistranslating shows to insert their political agendas everything is coming back to backfire on them in a huge way i don't like it, it it's it's justice it is justice we rattled the cage enough for the people over in japan the actual ip owners to take notice and now all that we have to wait for is uh the, the fruits of our labor. We have to see that Toei takes Dragon Ball away from Funimation. That's the last step. Because if they lose Dragon Ball, if Funimation loses Dragon Ball, they are irrelevant. They don't have any other big IPs like Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is pretty much Funimation's bread and butter. And then you have a couple of other ones. And I think someone said that they're dubbed by One Piece or they dub One Piece. I don't know. But... If you lose Dragon Ball, the others are just going to come in and fall like dominoes because they're going to want to disassociate themselves with the Funimation brand. And this might be good business for the other studios or the other dubbing houses that have their heads on straight. As long as Funima uh, as long as Toei avoids uh, something like Crunchyroll or anything like that, the whole High Guardian Spice situation... They will be okay. And what would be complete and utter poetic justice is if they went to a studio that hired Vic Mignogna as the voice of Goku or someone on someone on Dragon Ball. If, if, if Vic Mignogna got to dub Dragon Ball like a year later after all of this is done and Christopher Sabat, Sean Chimmel, Sony Strait, and Monica Rial were all out of a job, as at least as it concerns Dragon Ball, and they had to be on the outside looking in. That would be complete justice, and I would love it. So uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I just thought that was very interesting, that Toei is finally informed, and they know what's going on, and we're just waiting for them to take action because it's only one action to be taken. And that's taking Dragon Ball back for the fans. So hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell for more content from this channel. And I will see you in the next news update. Peace.